Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we are finally heading back south of the Jardine River after saying we're going to do it for ages, but you know, Cape York it really does get under your skin and you definitely end up staying longer than you originally planned, but we do have to start heading south. We've got to be in Melbourne for mid-December uh, and it's currently the start of November. So we've got to hustle our booties, uh, but something we skipped on the way up that we decided we were going to do on the way back is the falls, Elliot Falls and Fruit Bat Falls. So that's what we're going to head to do today with some friends who made up Hudson Bay and we are so keen. I'm especially keen to do something different to fishing for a change. So yeah, let's get into it and we'll um, see you on the falls. <laughs> Keep your life. Just toy out, I'll toy out a lot. Yeah. These girls are held on the top. delicious. Yes, you're not bad. The flies are invading though. Um, I see why everyone loves fruit bat so much. Yeah, it's, you can see what all the hype's about. Yeah. It's so warm this time of year as well. Like the water was just, it was like warmer in the water than out, which was okay today because it was overcast. It was delicious. But we are going to go to Elliot Falls. We're going to go to Elliot Falls tomorrow. Now we're gonna get, go set up camp and eat some dinner and have some frothies with friends. Frothies with friends. Listen to that. With friends. Uh, alliteration, mate. You learnt that one too, did you? <laughs> I just made that one up on the spot. Oh, right? There you go. She's a poet. <laughs> she just doesn't know it. Oh, God. <laughs> we're on the telly track, mate. So hectic. She did like 17 water crossings break everything you got to come and do it it's the best fun you can ever have with your pants on now we're for a drive channel bro <laughs> he's taking the mickey we just had to do a short bit of the telly track to get to where we're camping we're camping at canal crossing 
as soon as we went on tree. It's like, we're on the telly truck, bro. It's wild. It's fully active. I'll show you what we're doing. Look at it. It's crazy. I'm lifting wheels. <laughs> Control? Oh mate, absolutely hectic. Now here's the four-wheel drive track. Five kilometers in six minutes. Hectic. Mate, check some cracks sometimes. <laughs> times. One of the 17 creek crossings you were referring to. <laughs> Fully hectic. Lifting wheels like a mad dog. We had a few technical issues this morning. Had a um, <laughs> little bit forward drive at the moment. Um, we had an issue with the car starting. And Shane thought maybe it was dodgy fuel, so we checked the fuel filter, and there was a bit of water at the bottom of the fuel filter. So we'll definitely keep an eye on that. Then it still wasn't starting. At the moment, we've got makeshift intercooler pipes from um, when we did the engine conversion. If you've been following along from the beginning, you'd know that they. We essentially had to be out of the houses so quickly that we just kind of did what we did to get going and in the hope that we would then make them properly when we go to visit our friends at Mount Isa, which is in a week. And then it was our week before that they decided to start causing problems. So we think with all the corrugations, they've kind of shifted and it was causing them to kink and try to kind of suck too hard. So it was starving the engine of air. So that's why it wasn't starting. Yeah, well explained. Thank you. <laughs> did a great job. I'm learning so much. So, um all fixed but it did take a while the people we're camping with we ended up bumping into our friends mitch and amy from the mad rig if you don't know them go check them out on instagram they are great people they hung around and helped us as well as ayana and riley obviously stuck around to help out as well so we're finally heading up to elliot falls so we'll see you at the falls and we'll show you this one apparently there's a really big rock ledge so hopefully you'll be doing some jumping yeah okay for a swim sweaty ball <laughs>
Falls. Yeah, far better. That's the one. That's the go. Well, we'd say Elliot Falls would be good to go to in the morning if you've got a full day to see the falls. Have you a bit of a muck around jumps. You've got twin falls around the corner, which are nice to look at, but... Um, and then go to Fruit Bat in the Arvo for a good wallow and a beer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Twin Falls, you can quite comfortably sit there and polish off the car with, with some other people, of course. But that was like a nice little sandy base, you can sit there. Do you agree? Yeah, 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 yeah no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Fruit, and I do still really like Fruit Bat. The, um, we ended up staying at Canal Creek, which is like a free camp just outside of the National Park, like just off the tally track, essentially. You can you could spend a day there anyway, that, that was beautiful to just mm. Yeah, and you can stay at Elliott Falls, but apparently the state campsite is not that great. So that's pretty much the end of this episode though. So as usual, thank you so much for watching. We do really appreciate it. Um, we hope you liked this episode. It was kind of just a really quick snapshot of the falls. If you are wondering whether to stop in or not, who doesn't stop in there if you come all the way up here? Yeah, well, that's right. It's sort of something, something you gotta do. Same thing we had to film it, boys. So. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, so we will see you next week with Riley and Ayana. The plan is to stay for two nights, but if the fish are biting, apparently we'll stay for three. Yeah, if they're on, we, we live there. We live there. So we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. See you, bye. Oh, and click the subscribe button. Don't forget about that. Most important part. <laughs>